Good day, gentlemen uh, and ladies, if there's any interest in this madness. Right, so just finished my just finished my latest build. It's a 300 size uh, mini hexacopter. Uh, please check out the links. I will include the links from FPV Labs when my build thread is. Uh, you will see the pictures, everything, everything that goes in there, and the, and uh, and also there will be a link for the for the frame frame build overview. All my recently beloved style very strong and lightweight all all rounded well check the link about the frame so there's my little boo boo uh, the electronics i have a sunny sky 2500 kv motors here not the 2300 the standard ones but these are these experimented ones uh, they're not in the production i just got through some connection got the hands on the last seven of them uh, so for the video, immersion RC 600 milliwatts, uh, radio I'll be using, uh, uh, Hawkeye, Hawkeye UHF, that's my homebrewed monopole, homebrewed cloverleaves, and uh, for the camera, it's a Sony FEOV 800 TV lines. Now I plugged it in, the video, video looks very promising. So inside in there, I have... I have a step down step down module and it's shielded to give me five volts uh, for my Mobius because my Mobius is shredded uh, without uh, without the battery so it needs uh, it needs a power supply. Uh, the board the board in there is a clone of a NAZ32 board. It's only 28 by 28 mil. Uh, I think it's been three grams, and everything works here on a D-Boost configuration. ESCs are the custom built ESCs. They are inside the tubes to fit in there. Uh, uh, please keep an eye on the immersion I see. They will be going into mass production shortly. So the signal wires from ESCs they goes into this uh, power. Well, not power, it's a D-Bus distribution board, let's say this way. And there's only three wires goes in, into the board and everything. Uh, so I can plug it out and uh, set my ESCs to the OLED screen. Okay, what else What else in here? Uh, there's another cool feature. It's a 3-in-1 uh, thing in the bob. It's a voltage sensor. A buzzer and a UBEC. Uh, the UBEC gives me gives me bit around five uh, uh, two five volts, uh, but around one amp. So that's why I had to get the separate step down module to power my to power my mobiles. That's a DIY DIY video filter on, and she's bloody good to go. Good to go for maiden. Uh, the props here on these motors. I was trying these uh, GWS tree bladed as I liked on my mini, but they are very flexible and because of a high KV because of a high KV these props they were started to flattering as the motors were reaching like uh, the prop were reaching is max RPM. So when I was testing on the mock-up frame, that's my mock-up frame just for testing the powertrain. Uh, as I was testing it was it, it had heap of power with the Gemfans uh, 5x3 props. And here what I have, I have HQ 5x4 props. Now these props, I have to say, they brilliant. Like I have, I have them on my Mini and ZMRs, uh, RCX, I say, uh, 2400 KVs. They, they just love these props and they stiff, love them props. So with these props, what I did here, it's, I modified even the props a bit. As you can see, there's a, there's a lip on the motor, so I enlarged the hole in there. It's only by half a mil on a prop, so the prop sits uh, sits tight on the tight on the bell. Also, also there's a tiny lip in there on the top on the prop, so I reduced the diameter on my aluminium lock nut, so the lock nut sits in fully, fully, fully in there because otherwise the lock nuts they just simply not enough of the length uh, length of a threaded shaft. So even though my motor mounts, I raised it up a bit the motors, but after I modified the props, as you can see, there's a I have a very little space in here between the boom and the props. Now I'm pretty confident the props they will not bend because the props are stiff and anyway they bend they bend on the other they bend to the other side. So this one is all ready for maiden. I didn't lift it up. I didn't lift it up yet with uh, with this frame, this weight and. Uh, 5.4 HQs. Now, the biggest deal, what I'm extremely anal about, <laughs> let's see the weight of it. Right, bare frame, 
true, not the bare frame. Uh, the ready to fly without the battery, 445 grams. The battery that we'll be using is a 3.7 amp ZP Compact 25C discharge. So, well, I had these batteries, so I was building, make sure, make sure I can get away without buying more batteries, including the battery 718 grams which is i think is just bloody brilliant because there's a people flying around 900 grams so have to have a nippy uh right mobius i won't be flying with mobius constantly but i will put it on once in a while to have it to have a video too including mobius 749 grams well it stuck the bloody zip tie in there oh, yeah. 755 grams yeah. lovely loving it right so as long as i talk too much this video is getting long so i'll just go outside and give it a little jump around and i will do the fpv maiden in my next video right okay i got level on just in case as a first uh pids are the stock whatever didn't touch the anything didn't touch any any rates any nothing uh, the chrome configuration like it shows all all stock oh okay your needs a bit Right, so things that I have to get used to, to this one, it's not like a bloody quads when you drop the throttle and just drop down, like you have to drop a good bit of throttle for it to drop it down compared to the quads. So, so far, so good. Let's go get the FT. Huh? My dad is good. Is he? Yeah. High five on that. Right, so let's stick on the gear and go check it FPV. Daddy is a good player, and you get me my propeller. Uh huh. And I need to stick it up. Is it not a little bit too big? No. 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 You sure? Are you sure? Yes. How are you gonna stick it on? Yeah. Mm hmm. Pasuk, pasuk propeller. Stipri, 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 pasuk, stipri, stipri. Uh oh. Uh oh. What happened, Daddy? Did you know? Uh, Daddy, look what happened. Kazbuva. There was a crack on it. Nayoge. Look. Oh no. 